This year, our festival will be focused on Brazilian music, one of the most prized expressions of our culture. Four movies will be screened in total, two today and two tomorrow. here at uh, the Brazilian Embassy, Brazilian residence, my home. <laughs> Thank you so Welcome. much for inviting us today. Yeah, it's Thank very, you. I'm very pleased to have you here. <laughs> um, Ambassador, you have such a beautiful garden. Yes, we are indeed very lucky to have this uh -huh. garden, mm -hmm. which is uh, very uh, useful for hosting events here at the Embassy. Mm -hmm. I even organized here a huge barbecue day oh, wow. to promote Brazilian meat uh -huh. uh, in Korea. Uh -huh. It was a great success. Yes. Perfect place. Very uh -huh. good place, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. um, do you hold a lot of parties at your residence? Oh yes, we take advantage of this uh, residence here yes. to host uh -huh. many parties here. It's a good asset we have here. Yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. This garden. Uh -huh. yes. But let's come inside and I'll talk to you longer about this. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. After you. Thank you.
Can I tempt you with some Brazilian coffee? Oh, yes, please. Would you like to take yours with uh, sugar and milk? Or? Yes. Um, a little bit of milk. These cheese balls of oh. a, a typical delicacy in Brazil. Uh -huh. Everywhere in Brazil you can taste oh. this. Pão de queijo, as we call it. Mm. If you translate it literally, it's cheese bread. Mm. But it's... Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Is there a reason that um, why this snack is so popular in Brazil? Besides, it's very delicious. <laughs> I think it's the taste and mm -hmm. the quality of the mm -hmm. delicacy, you know. It started in a state in central Brazil called Minas Gerais. Mm -hmm. And every day, everywhere you go nowadays in Brazil, you have this uh, cheese balls. Mm -hmm. They are uh, appreciated everywhere in Brazil. Uh -huh. See. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Would you like to have one empada, as we call it in mm -hmm. Brazil? Thank you. It smells really nice. They can be filled mm. with meat, with beef mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or chicken mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or uh, shrimp, for mm -hmm. instance. Mm -hmm. So it depends on this one is uh, chicken. Chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very delicious. And uh, one thing that I notice when I take empanada uh, from other countries is that the crust is different. Mm, mm -hmm. The crust that surrounds our empanada uh -huh. is uh, more crumbling, you know. Right. Whenever you take it, it's a bit messy, <laughs> uh -huh. but you take it and it crumbles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is the main characteristic of our empanada. Uh -huh. <laughs> so Brazilians are lucky enough to have this delicious empanada every day. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we can, yes. Uh -huh. It's well, it's not easy to make. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. of the special mm -hmm, characteristic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's very tasty, mm -hmm, <laughs> very mm -hmm. good. Very delicious. Um, Ambassador, I heard that the Brazilian Film Festival was held in Seoul very recently. Mm -hmm. um, how was this event organized? Well, actually, this was the eighth edition of our uh, uh, movie festival here in, in Korea. Mm -hmm. I took part in the last year's edition mm -hmm. uh, soon after I arrived. Mm -hmm. And this year we, we showed four films. Mm -hmm. And this year the main theme of our uh, festival was music, Brazilian oh. music. Uh -huh. The first film, for instance, was much easier to understand because there was very little test. Mm. Of <laughs> the, re the film was mm -hmm. mostly music, mm -hmm. you know, the hearing to music. and. To, uh, and based on music was um, also included the participation of Koreans. So. Oh, uh -huh. And that is something that we try to do every time we organize an event, a cultural event. We try to make the connection mm -hmm. between Brazilian culture right. and Korean culture. Mm -hmm. So it's always an important aspect as well that we take into consideration mm -hmm. when we organize any event and the film festival was not different right. in this sense. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm sure many Koreans enjoyed Brazilian films. Oh yes, mm -hmm. there was a large public. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was very pleased with that. Last year as well, the mm -hmm. festival was very well attended by mm -hmm. a Korean public. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm always very pleased to organize this mm -hmm. kind of events here. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm curious about how are our um, exchanges related to um, film industries between our two countries? Well, actually last year, at the event last year, we had two films that were, one directed by a, a, a Korean director, filmed in Brazil, mm. the other one filmed here with a Brazilian director. Oh, uh -huh. So there is already a great mm -hmm. deal of cooperation mm -hmm. in our film industries. And, uh, well, Korean uh, film industry is widely known uh, everywhere. Uh, a, a Korean film has just won the Palme d'Or at mm -hmm. the uh, Cannes Film Festival. So Korean films in Brazil are already very well known. So mm -hmm. this cooperation exists naturally. Mm -hmm. There is no 
formal kind of cooperation, but there is this mutual interest, mm -hmm. and, the, and this is uh, reflected in cooperation naturally. Mm, I see. Um, so, Ambassador, this year marks our 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties between our two countries, mm -hmm. and I know that a lot of events were held to commemorate this special occasion. Um, and one of them were actually um, in February. Um, there was the Brazil Korea 60th anniversary logo contest. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> who participated in this contest and tell us about the winners. Uh, this idea was proposed to the Korean embassy in Brazil by us. And mm -hmm. we both jointly promoted this contest and we received really a great reaction. We had 200, around 250 entries. Wow. Uh, the first uh, place, uh, the, 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 the one who actually got the approval uh, for the logo, was a young lady who lived many, many years in Brazil mm. and now lives here. She, mm -hmm. she then lived in Busan, she's now in Seoul. Mm -hmm. And the second and third participants who who came in second and third, uh, lived in Brazil. There are two Brazilian students mm. who also took part in this. But it was really a very good, you know, contest and a very, uh, it received a very good reaction from the public. And uh, I was very pleased that we had this logo and we could use it in every event Mm. that we have been promoting both here and mm -hmm. in Brazil because right. the Korean embassy is also doing right. the same there uh -huh. with the same logo that uh -huh. we jointly uh, promoted this uh -huh. context, uh, contest. I believe those works symbolize our friendship between two they countries. Do, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on the meaning behind 60 years of bilateral diplomatic relations? Well, this is really an important milestone. Brazil and Korea have a history already of 70 years of friendship. Brazil mm -hmm. was one of the first countries in the world, the eighth country in the world, first in Latin America, to recognize the Republic of Korea mm -hmm. uh, uh, 70 years ago. And then we formally established diplomatic relations in 59, mm -hmm. so the 60th anniversary this year. And uh, uh, soon after that, uh, in the early 60s, we opened embassies in each other's capitals. Mm -hmm. So Korea opened an embassy then in Rio de Janeiro, where mm -hmm. the diplomatic corps was still based then, the former capital, mm -hmm. and we opened here. So we are here for more than 50 years with permanent presence. Mm -hmm. And well, so this is a milestone that not many countries have achieved. Right. Right. And Brazil is very proud that mm -hmm. we are celebrating, and I particularly am very proud to be able to be here and take part in the celebrations mm -hmm. directly. Mm -hmm. uh, it coincided with the beginning of my mission here, so I'm very pleased that, uh, uh, of this coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, to commemorate our 60th anniversary for our bilateral um, diplomatic ties, there have been a lot of events. Um, and one of them I heard was the artist exhibition, and her name is Chon Uki. Yes, she has been living in Brazil. She is Korean, but she has been living in Brazil for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And she came here with her interpretation of our life. Uh, in Brazil, very colorful paintings, mm -hmm. very successful exhibition. Mm -hmm. She stayed here a couple of months with us and uh, I think she was very pleased with the result of her uh, participation in our cultural program here. And she also was invited later by the Korean Embassy in Brazil to make an exhibition in Brasilia as well, mm -hmm. uh, sponsored by the, the, organized by the Embassy in Brazil. Mm -hmm. So it was a very successful exhibition. Mm -hmm. um, could you tell us more about her works? Well, the, she, she paints scenes of Brazilians' mm -hmm. uh, everyday lives, oh. uh, particularly in the state of Bahia, and she interprets mm -hmm their uh, way of life and in the landscape around them mm -hmm. very colorfully, you oh. know. She mm -hmm. uses very striking colors mm -hmm. to transmit her vision mm -hmm. and her interpretation mm -hmm. of their lives there. So mm -hmm. it's, it's very interesting, this mm -hmm. aspect, very colorful and 
as I said, it was very, very successful, mm. the exhibition. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. And I heard that recently there were some music concerts. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. because we, m music is, you know, very uh, uh, defining of a culture. And in, in, in Brazil is no different. We have a very uh, deep rooted tradition mm -hmm. in, um, uh, in music in Brazil. So we are taking part uh, at the Dejong Guitar Festival, mm -hmm. International Guitar Festival. Mm -hmm. Brazil this year was assigned a special day during this uh, festival. Uh, I think it was the first time they invited a country to have a special day in this international festival. Uh -huh. So we had many Brazilian guitarists, very well-known Brazilian guitarists who came, who came here to take part in this uh, festival. We hosted the most important guitarists uh, that we have in Brazil. There the, are the, 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 the two brothers, the Assad brothers. Most important maybe in the world nowadays, duo guitarists. Uh -huh. and they, they came to Korea after 27 years without visiting Korea. The last time they came here uh -huh. was 27 years ago. Uh -huh. And this time they came we organized a concert by them with more than 600 people there. Wow. It was packed, uh -huh, completely uh -huh. full. And it was very, very successful, very good. They are classic guitarists and they, are, mm -hmm. they really uh, are fantastic. One of them is even composer, so. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, for the bilateral relations, how important understanding each other's culture is? I think it's essential, you know, that uh, when you become closer, you learn about the culture of the other country, mm -hmm. which is uh, part of that uh, process mm -hmm. uh, of uh, increasing relations. So it's important, I think it's fundamental that you mm -hmm. learn about the other parts country, mm -hmm. uh, other parts culture. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the main uh, parts of my mission here mm -hmm. is to promote Brazilian culture here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. Are there any programs for Koreas to learn about Brazilian culture at the embassy? Yes, particularly two programs that are ongoing. There was one more recent uh, developed by the Korean, uh, the Seoul municipality and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs called Open uh, uh, campus in which we received a group of Korean citizens mm -hmm. to talk about mm -hmm. Brazilian culture and uh, different aspects of mm -hmm. Brazil. And there is also this ongoing program uh, directed to uh, young students mm -hmm. here in Korea. Mm -hmm. We have received more than 400 students during the year mm -hmm. and uh, they, they come as well to to enjoy Brazilian music, to learn about Brazilian uh, culture, Brazilian geography, Brazilian history. Mm -hmm. uh, they even cook some cheese balls. <laughs> 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 the, the, it's, an, it's an interesting program and they, uh -huh. I think they enjoy it. Mm -hmm, Sometimes mm -hmm. they take part as well <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. with them. Mm -hmm. um, so Ambassador, it's been about a year since you came to Korea. Um, what was the most memorable moment since you took your office? Uh, I would really say that uh, for me it was very special when I presented credentials. I, I've been a diplomat for 40 years now, but this is my first post as ambassador. Mm -hmm. And the presentation of the ceremony of presentation of credentials is a very formal, very solemn mm -hmm. ceremony. And for me being my first time it was really very, very special, uh -huh. particularly being here in Korea. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And because we have been organizing so many events in the context of the celebrations of our 60th anniversary, mm -hmm. we uh, held, for instance, here at this house, one barbecue day to promote Brazilian meat. Wow. Here. Uh -huh. uh, we served for, f for the first time since uh, we started exporting pork to oh, Korea, we uh -huh. managed to serve pork here, uh -huh. Brazilian sausage wow. <laughs> made from pork. Uh -huh. It was a memorable occasion. Many Korean participants, many 
Koreans, uh, importers and, mm -hmm. and consumers of uh, Brazilian meat were here. Some uh, colleagues from the diplomatic corps, Korean authorities. So it was really my first big event in this house, uh -huh. uh, taking advantage of the nice garden that mm -hmm. we had here. Right. We have here. You do have a beautiful garden. <laughs> Um, coming to Korea, I believe you must have made a lot of plans. Uh, what are you focusing on currently? Well, uh, our activities are always a work in progress. Of course, when I was getting prepared to come here, I studied a lot about Korea and our relations and what our current state of affairs was. Mm -hmm. And one particular area is, of course, the trade area. Mm -hmm. And I think that we are now, being now engaged in the negotiations together with the, the other Mercosur countries mm -hmm. for a free trade agreement with Korea. We have just held our fourth round of negotiations in Busan. Uh, we are very hopeful that the conclusion of these negotiations will contribute very much towards that uh, goal of balancing our uh, trade relations and uh, increasing our access, for instance, in, in, in terms of our beef being uh, allowed to be exported mm -hmm. to Korea. Another area that has been very important in my mission here is the cooperation in science and technology. When I was mm. getting prepared to come here last year, mm -hmm. I learned that we had already many projects going on. Our communities uh, uh, of scientists regard each other as equal partners and that is very mm -hmm. important because Brazil has advanced in some sectors that are important for mm -hmm. Korea as well as the other way around. So uh, I have been following and organizing many uh, visits mm -hmm. by Brazilian uh, scientists or, or organizations here and Koreans in Brazil. And I was very pleased with the signing of a memorandum of understanding between our most important foundation uh, on research uh, of the state of Sao Paulo mm -hmm. and the NRF here in Korea, the National Research Foundation. Mm -hmm. So yeah. there are many, many initiatives and many projects and many already joint uh, uh, research being carried out. And this is one is particularly important aspect of my mission, my mission here that I am pleased to, to see developing, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. Um, how long have you been worked as a diplomat? I have been a diplomat for 40 years now. Wow, wow. I've served in eight posts, posts abroad. Mm -hmm. This is my eighth post, actually. Mm -hmm. But this is my first experience in Asia. Mm -hmm. I had visited Asia before, but I had never been in post here. Mm -hmm. uh, a very old diplomat already. <laughs> 40 years is a long time. Mm -hmm. It is a long time. Yeah. Uh, what is your philosophy as a diplomat? Well, the important thing about being a diplomat is that we are always studying. Mm -hmm. You do different things everywhere you go. You, uh, sometimes, as ambassador, I have to, to supervise every sector of the embassy, every different subject. It's a very challenging career, but it's uh, the most, I mean, striking uh, uh, characteristic of this career is that you are always updating yourself. You are oh. always studying new subjects, you are always learning new things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is the most important aspect of mm -hmm. our career. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for inviting us to your residence today and also agreeing on the interview. I was very pleased to receive you here and uh, uh, thank you for this opportunity to talk about my mission and mm -hmm. I, uh, to talk about uh, the relations between Brazil and Korea. Mm -hmm. um, I really look forward to your future activities to further enhance our bilateral relations. Thank you, thank <laughs> you very much. Uh -huh. um, Ambassador, could you teach me um, how to say goodbye in your language? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can say it in many ways, the most formal one being adeus. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, every day we, when we uh, say goodbye to someone, we have the hope to seeing them again. So you say, até logo ou até breve. I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Uh -huh. So, até logo ou até breve. Até logo. Anion <laughs> Ricaceio.